I'm going to demonstrate the parent constraint tool I created. So there's a number of sections. We, uh, like most of my tools, I'll have a little make marker section. So this tool will work with any object, um, but with this one, we're just going to use a couple nulls. So let's do our moving object. This will be the object that will have the motion that we want on it. Say so we're a little arc. Let's give it some rotation. So there we have a little bit of motion. Okay, so now we'll have our, call this our target object, no, we'll call this uh, a static object. So here we have it, let's change that color too, so we can see more pink. Okay. So, um, how this section where your selected objects works is it's based on the order of which you select your objects. So if I select, it's usually the child, well it is the child and then the parent, and then you hit update, and you'll see that the parent is the moving object, the child is the static object. Now if I were to group select it and update, my parent is now the static object, my child is now the moving one. I put this feature in here, invert selection, because some people like to pick the parent first, and then the child, some people like to pick the child and the parent, so this way it doesn't matter. Uh, we have a keep offset, so if that's checked, our child object will retain its original position. Um, so let's take a look at it first right here. So let's update our selection. Oh, two objects need to be selected. There we are, so moving object, static, that works. It's parent. And now we'll see that it follows. Uh, if we take a look at Navigator under constraints, it creates a constraint uh, with a naming convention child hyphen static object to parent hyphen moving object and uh, double hyphen constraint tool generated just so. It's clear that this was created through the tool in case you have a long list of constraints already built in your scene. Um, now if we want to unparent that, unparent works, it deletes it. It'll only delete that constraint if your two objects are still in these parent and child field. So if I were to um, update my selection, that moving object to static object, if I invert it, and I unparent, nothing happens. If I unparent, done. So with that said, we can isolate translation rotation per axis. So, well, let's do that right now. Um, invert selection. Let's only do rotation and let's keep our offset. Parent. And so there you see just the rotation it's being affected. Um, you can unparent that and only have translation occur. And let's actually follow the object. So now we see the blue, which is a moving object, rotate. Um, so one of the things is if you were to animate your constraint, as a lot of people do, uh, if I create a weight at zero and then put it to a hundred here, uh, if my two objects are selected, I can show my constraints keys. So now I can see them and I can play with that on my timeline a little easier. this here and zero it out here. So 
so. Um, so that's great. Now we let's do uh, let's let's, do, let's talk about plotting. Um, we have plot, which will of course bake down the uh, translation rotation and destroy the constraint. So it's now on the object itself, the source object, the child object. Sorry. Uh, you can also plot on all takes, which is great if you're retargeting props and you want to go globally through your scene. Um, the apparent plot, which is basically a one-click button. So uh, let's do let's do let's copy all the data on three takes. So on take one, we're following it like this, and we can plot that. So you can see our constraint is now gone. And all the data is on our static object, well, our pink null. Um, now, if we're on take two, nothing's happening. So let's parent that. And on all takes, plot. So if you remember, let's unparent first. So remember on this take, we've got some weight, and it goes back and forth. Um, if we were to go on this and parent it, we all plot on all takes. It's going to trample over take one. It's going to plot all. Um, saying that aloud now, I should totally put in a feature that will only work on selected takes. Because that's probably what you want more than anything else. Um, but let's plot it. So take one, we follow. Take two, we follow. And take three, we follow as well. So um, let's create another object. And we'll just call this third object. And I'm going to grab my third object and one of these is update. So I'm going to transfer the, the pink object to this purple one. Um, let's change the view of this. Let's go with cube. So with the parent plot, just one click, it's there, it's plotted, it's quick. I uh, hope this helps. And um, yeah, look for an update later on where I've got uh, plot on selected takes. Thank you.